Hey guys, it's LukeMan97 and welcome back to another video in BMG Drive. Today we're going to be checking out a mod called the Civetta Bolide Hyper. So, I'm sorry, I apologize for the echo in this video, but like I said in the bomb video I did last week, I'm currently not on my PC right now, I'm actually recording on my laptop, which actually performs BMG quite well. and the reason why it's echoey is because I don't have a headset currently and I'm in a room that's bigger. So apologies guys, hopefully next week I'll remember to bring my headset with me when I come here so that I, you know, it's not so echoey. But anyway, so when you go into the vehicle selector, it's kind of weird. You'd think the Hyper Bolide would be right here with the Civetta Bolide, right? Well, no, that's actually not the case. By the way, the funny jumper is just part of the Mad Mod. We'll do a review on that probably eventually. Anyways, um, we have the, it, it's actually under DH Hyperbolide, and the one right here is a plane. But anyway, um, so, now, so we have the land speed record, which has rockets and a rear tail thing, the aero special, which can fly, it has wings and stuff, we'll check that out. The Group B rally, which is pretty much just a rally car, off-road fast assault, which is an off-road police, kind of sort of like military vehicle. Police assault, which is like a police on-road vehicle. Rocket assisted, which is a race car with rockets. Stripped off-road, basically stripped car, but for off-road. And then of course, stripped track. And then the urban fast assault, which is like a military assault for the regular urbanized areas. Anyway, let's go ahead and check out the, we'll check out the land speed record real quick, but that's not going to be a big part of what we do because, you know, you can switch from, I might have to bind, bind some of things for this, but anyway, let's go ahead and get to the highway where we can actually check these things out to their full potential. So right now I'm just driving on engine mode. I'm not using the rockets, but I'll show you what, how to do the rockets here in a second. And yes, I totally just botched that drift. I'm sorry guys, I'm not the best drifter. Anyway, let's go ahead and go line up right over here. Okay. So and then you just press T or you can bind it to whatever you want to activate the rockets. And we're just gonna start driving. And the rockets start firing. And of course we got our nice stabilizer on the end, which who knows why there even is a stabilizer when you can't use it to pull up, but apparently it's because maybe, I don't know, streamlined. But we're not going to check that out that long. It's just kind of a fast car you can use on land. Let's go ahead and check out the Aero Special, because this one is cool. Now you can fly with this one. So let's go ahead and turn on nitrous real quick and start getting, driving down the highway. You gotta get speed to take off. Let's go ahead and get down here real quick. Get around this curve, and now we're gonna enable the things. Let's not die here. Okay, and pull up. There we go. And you can overspeed the wings, so be careful with this, because let me show you. It's kind of hard on this map to show you what'll happen with them. Let me see if I can do it, but it's kind of hard because you don't exactly have tons of room, but I'm gonna go ahead and climb here first. And now we're gonna go ahead and dive and see what happens. Uh-oh, we're stalling here. Anyway, let's go ahead and just dive like crazy right now. See what happened? The wings just broke and folded. And if you go to like 240, 250, that will happen. So make sure and don't overspeed the wing. So that's the Aero Special, pretty cool little thing. You can fly with it. But the Group B Rally, I'm not gonna spend any time on because that's basically just a regular bolide. I mean, there is a special feature of those, which I'll show you in a minute. Look, in the Earth, Off-Road Assault um, is basically just the uh, same as the 
urban assault, but with off-road tires. Anyways, let's go ahead and get in the police assault, and I'll show you the special feature of this Belide that's different from all the others. So we got our nice police car here. The nice, one of the nice features of this is you go into the interior, and as you can see here, it's kind of dark. Let me get into the light. There you guys. There we go. There we go. Oh, okay, there we go. You can see it better. So we actually have a yoke-shaped steering wheel here, which is really cool because, you know, the regular Belides just have a round steering wheel like regular cars. But, yeah, this yoke steering wheel is pretty cool. And the reason why the car has a yoke steering wheel is because, you know, with that plane car we just flew, you know, you got to pull up and down like an airplane. So that's why they all have yokes, I'm pretty sure. But, yeah, that's a pretty cool steering wheel kind of different from everything else but anyway here's the special feature that i'm going to show you and then of course you got your lights that work but that's not the big deal so anyway i bound this to the e key on my keyboard but you just press whatever key you've bound this to and boom the hood opens and a mini gun slides up that is the coolest thing ever if you ask me now there's a couple gun mods in bmg there's like you know the D15 Assault, which is a pickup with a gun in the bed, and then there's the T80 Tank, which we already did a review on, but this is really cool too because, yeah, the BMG mods need to have more militaristic mods, and this is cool because this is one of the militaristic mods, I would think, because, you know, they have urban and off-road assaults that have camo that look like military. But anyway, let's go ahead and check this out, and by the way, when you go inside, you have this and, you, and the gun is activated, you have this crosshair. It's kind of hard to see. Oh yeah, this yellow, I don't know if you can see that, but move this like that. Yellow thing right here, there's a dot and two lines there so that you can aim the thing. It's kind of hard to see, but anyway, let's go ahead and spawn in another car that we can test this out on. So let's go ahead and get a taller vehicle so it won't be as hard. Um. Let's just get a truck here. Nothing fancy. Just And by the way, these are Mad Mod trucks. The Mad Mod is like a post-apocalyptic mod. And you've seen it before in my first ever police chase video. But I'm going to do a mod review on that eventually. But not today. Anyway, let's go ahead and spawn in a T-Series. or Just a regular T-Series. And let's just, for the fun of it, let's just tell it to flee. Now let's go ahead and enable our nice little minigun here. And the crosshair isn't always the most accurate though. Sometimes you just gotta go by the gun barrel pointing at the thing. And then I have this bound to the enter key, but I'm gonna go ahead and start firing at him. And there we go, look at the damage it's causing. And you know, with a semi obviously, it's gonna be harder to take down, but, and as you can see, I've already managed to die in the, middle of the road, but let's go ahead and tell the AI to stop. And just go ahead and reset him, because, you know, like the tank, it's nice to be able to just do it in a stationary thing, so you're not contending with a moving vehicle. But yeah, let's just go ahead and set here and just go. as you can see, it's causing him some damage. Now, one of the things that is vulnerable with these hyperbolides is the clutch overheats very easily, which that's kind of annoying, but because as you can see, it says clutch overheating and there's steam coming out of the car. But to prevent the clutch overheating, basically what you do is, I guess, try not to switch gears, like drift around and switch from reverse to drive or try not, try to do that as little as possible because for some reason, the clutch just overheats very easily on these. But anyway, that's the police assault, which is a pretty cool car, if you ask me. And so we checked that out. Let's go ahead and check out the rocket-assisted one, which this is really fast, because not only does it have a race engine, but it's rocket-assisted. So watch this. Like, we have so much speed right now. I'm just racing down. Yeah, we have way too much speed for this map. Like, if we were on a map like, oh my, 
if we were on grid small pure, which by the way, maybe we'll go to grid small pure after this and just check out how fast it can actually go. But let's just check out one of the stripped chassis too, the track one, because as you can see, the stripped one's really stripped. It doesn't even, has a NOS bottle right there, but it doesn't even have a, you know, it doesn't even have a dashboard, just the steering wheel here. Anyway, let's get going and see on that, see how good this thing is. And then we got an off-road version of the stripped down one, two, but that's pretty much the same thing, except just with off-road tires and a little bit slower. But boy, this thing does go fast. I don't call it track for nothing. It tops out at about 178, but let's go ahead and have a good crash. Yeah, there we go. But anyway, um, yeah, let me go to grid, the small grid real quick and just show you guys how fast that rocket-assisted sports car can go. I know we've never really, it'll take like two seconds to load this in because it's such an easy map, but I don't, I don't, we've never really filmed on this map here, Grid Small Pure, because, you know, it's kind of a boring map with nothing on it, but for when you're trying to test out speed, you want to come here because, you know, let's see how fast this can go versus the land speed record. So NOS on, no. The rockets might run out eventually. Yeah, they probably will. Oh my, this thing can go really fast. We're already in the 200s. The engine's about to blow, by the way. Yep, there goes the engine. So, I don't know if you guys saw what we topped out at it, but it was somewhere in the 200s, so, yeah. Anyways, let's test out the land speed record real quick and see how fast that goes, because that one is pretty fast. Okay, NOS on, enable rocket. So I don't know if you guys saw how fast the rocket race car went. I wasn't really paying it that much attention, but I'm pretty sure I know it went somewhere in the 200s. Oh my, oh my, okay. <laughs> yes, this is the land speed record. Oh my. Are we actually going 400 miles an hour? Oh, shoot. See, as you can see, the gauge down, basically the speedometer becomes a gauge for the rocket fuel. So it, the rocket fuel pretty much just ran out. So we don't have any more rockets, but we were going like 500 and something, which that's crazy for BeamNG. Like, you guys know, I've played BeamNG for like two years already, and bro, I've never gone 500 or even 400 miles an hour. I don't think I've even gone 300. The fastest I've gone up to now is like 200 and something, but that's crazy that it can go 300. But anyway, guys, that's pretty much all for the DH Hyper Belide. It's got a really, really nice Belide. Let's see if it has the mini gun in this one. No, it doesn't. It's just an empty compartment. But anyways, yeah, the nice little minigun feature is really nice if you're doing a police chase, which by the way, I'll have, we'll have a, me and Diesel did a police chase with these hyperbolides. Uh, we spawned in a whole group of criminal cars and chased them down and destroyed them with our miniguns. So we'll have a video on that coming out on both of our channels not too long from now, but yeah, if you want to download this mod, as always, I'll have the link down below in the description. And don't forget to check out me and Diesel's video on that chase after this, because that was a pretty cool chase, guys. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below. Hit the like button for more videos. Um, don't forget to ring the bell also after you hit the subscribe buttons. You get notifications on all my newest videos. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.